So in this episode, we're going to do yoga with Adrian. Now, Adrian is different than Cassandra. I've been getting mixed up because Adrian has the dog at this point into it. Anyway, we're going to get started. Now, the problem with this particular one was that the, for the first five minutes, all she does is sit. Like she just sits there and does absolutely nothing. Which is basically just getting your breathing done. So right now, like right now, I'm just breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in with your nose. Breathe out with your mouth. So I did that for a while, and then I was like, you know what? Screw it. So I did some seated cat and cow poses and breathed, right? All that good stuff. Moved the neck around. If you're doing this right, it's nice and slow. I put it in fast forward here, so because I was just sitting there doing nothing. But I do that, right? You could just definitely hear you someone like you think. This is where I went rogue because I couldn't stand anymore. Plus, I need to get things done. So I started my own stretching. So the first thing I did was just stretch out my legs. About a 10 second count, maybe a little longer. But then I was like, you know what? Let's do it with motion. We're doing. So, right now, we're gonna do a rag doll. Bend the elbows, swing side to side. Yeah, just let it hang. Just let yourself body, just let gravity take its course. Sit there, yeah. Swing side to side. Relax the neck, relax the head, relax the body. Now you're gonna go down to a, a tabletop pose. And you're gonna do cat and cow. You're gonna moo and meow. Oh no, I decided to go with the doggy, yo. Yeah, dog stretch right there. Just a little piddle pat in the back. Left, right, right, left. Downward dog works really well to stretch out the legs in the morning. Right, if you're a bit stiff, why not? It's a little patter, bend the knees, you know. Then we're now going to go into another tabletop. Some cat and cow. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing is important. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And now we're going to do windmills. I call this windmills. I, don't, I can't find the windmill emoji. We're going to do 10 on each side. I'm going 10 this way. And then I should maybe fast forward that shit because it's taking forever. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. All right, hold on. Let me do that now because I have to do both legs too. So, like, let me get to the end. Now that we fast forward all of that windmills and stuff, we're going to do a baby pose. In baby pose, we're just going to do a lean down like that. Stretch the upper shoulders, the back. Uh, some spine extension. You know. Make sure your toes are touching and your knees are spread wide. So that way you can stretch also the hips. Yeah, baby. This feels good. Yeah. Enjoy the silence. Think about what you're going to do today. I would fast forward this, but it's so peaceful. And this needs to be really well done. So now we're going to go into a 
a Fing's pose. Yeah, it feels good. Stretch that lower back. Make sure you get a good stretch in. I don't know what I'm about to do now. Oh, look at my legs. I, just, man, I got some skinny ass legs. I need to hit the gym. Alright, and now we're going to do a, uh, a uh, dog. I'm paddling again. Oh, look at that. I just did it on one try. Swing your left leg forward and then keep your toes curled into the ground with your back leg and then do an arm extension here. Stretch that hip. Right now, this is getting that hip right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's where it's getting at. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Whew. Whew. All right, now we're going to bring the knee down. If I'm not mistaken... Right now, we're going to stretch the hamstring. It's early in the morning. You know, all this stuff has been sitting there at night, gathering cobwebs. So we got to get the kinks out. You know what I'm saying? Just let's pop it out, homie. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yes. To the side. To the side. There you go. Uh-huh. And we're going to do another dog. What are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. A little pitter-patter. Watch this leg come forward, though. Watch that leg come forward. It's coming. It's coming right now. It's coming right now. Right now. Oh, I almost didn't make it. Oh, but look at that. Toes curls in the back. Doing like a warrior pose. Okay. And now we're going to extend our arm. Now, that front... See how my toes... I'm not doing that right. Because you see... Now I'm doing it right. See how my toe just curls right there? That's how it's supposed to be done. you got to curl that toe inward so you can get that stretch on your arm and hip. All right, now we're going to go to the tabletop pose. One more time, just for a second. As we are now going to put our toes behind, curl our toes behind. And now what we're basically what we're doing, we're stretching our toes and our foot in the back. Yeah, very strange. I know, I get it. Here we go. I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm going to make, oh, baby. Yeah, swing those hips side to side, kind of like windshield wipers. I should have done windshield wipers, but this is more like of a baby pose. And I have my roommate walking around in the background. I don't know if you saw, right? So I don't want her looking at me like this. But now we got to do a pigeon toe. Now, stretch the hamstrings. It's also stretching your hips. But you see, if you noticed, my toes, I'm curling my toes. I'm extending my toes. Yeah, right there. You see my toes? I'm also doing it up top, but you can't see my leg because of the camera angle or whatever. But, yeah, it's not that important. Now we're going to do and switch it to the other side. This is a phenomenal stretch. Your hips, your um, hamstrings, and then once again, just extending the toes. Extending the toes. It's a full body stretch. Remember that. Yeah. Some of these things might be difficult at first, but... You know, as you practice every day, you start getting... Like, I'm noticing more flexibility. I'm starting to get closer to the ground with my um, downward-facing dog. I'm starting to feel like my cat, my heel is going to eventually touch the leg. Now we're going to extend. This is a spinal twist. So, yeah, this is pretty good. It feels really good. Now, I put my back... Yeah, my hand behind the back. Just because it creates more leverage... And then I can reach it. Like before, I wasn't even... I'm getting closer to my toes. You're supposed to be grabbing your toes, but yeah, you can't. So make sure yeah, your hips are lined up. Now we're going to go to the other side. Oh, this right here. Oh, baby. This hip stretch is phenomenal right here. Like you can feel both hips just stretching out. Looking back there. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, a couple... I wouldn't be able to do that a couple years ago. But, as you can tell, I'll be trying. Alright. Now we're going to do the extension. Make, make sure that when you do that, though, that your uh, both knees and hips are aligned. Like, everything is in a straight line. Otherwise, you're doing it wrong. Alright. And there you go. There you go. Now, doing it the other side. Slowly. Just breathe. Just make sure that you're breathing. Yeah, that feels so good right there. Yeah, like, look at that, baby. 
Make sure you're looking over your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to sit. Mm-hmm. And om. Namaste, motherfuckers.